So what crab? My name is Gary Mablet. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, Harry Kane is a world-class player. We're very lucky to have him. He's been with us since uh, he started his footballing career. Yeah, he's on, on contract with Spurs for a while, so hopefully uh, yeah, he'll be staying with us for a long, long time, hopefully for the rest of his career. So as far as um, the future goes, we honestly believe that he will get the Premier League record of goals. He's already got the England goal scorers record this season. And of course, uh, he's now aiming for the Premier League record. And we honestly believe that he will achieve that in not the too distant future. Harry Kane is a world-class striker. We're playing alongside someone like Sonny as well, who also to me is a world-class footballer. We have two of the best strikers in the world that any team in the world would put in their front lineup. My favorite current Tottenham player is Sonny. Uh, I just love Sonny. Uh, after matches at uh, the Spurs Stadium, I normally present the Man of the Match awards after games, and Sonny normally wins it. Even if we don't win matches, Sonny is normally the recipient of the Man of the Match award. Even if we haven't won, he's still smiling. He receives his award. I present him with his award and say he's always very, very charming uh, and a lovely guy. So uh, a great person, a great footballer. I think overall this season, we've not met the objectives that we were looking for at the start of the season. We were aiming to be putting in a sustained challenge for the title at the top of the table. And we thought we'd do very well in the cup competitions. But having said that, you know, we were in the top four for most of the season so far. And we've only just slipped out of it at the moment. We got to the last 16 of the Champions League. So, you know, overall, you look back, back at it and you say, yes, our objectives were to be do a bit better, but there's still two games to go. We believe that we we're going to get six points from our last two games. And by doing that, that will guarantee us European football for next season. So you know, we're all very optimistic. A new manager will be in place for the start of next season. A lot of things will be put in place to make sure that next season we are far more maybe focused and moving forward and hopefully going for that title and those cup wins. Oh, when I played as a defender, which striker did I fear the most? Um, I played against Johan Cruyff. So Johan Cruyff uh, for Holland. He was an excellent footballer. So um, that was one player that uh, was always good. But the question was, which player did I fear the most? I never ever feared any player I played against. I don't know why. Um, I'm not a nervous type player, um, but I never lost any sleep the night before any big games, whether playing for England at Wembley in big games or playing for Spurs in the cup finals. I never had any nerves whatsoever. I don't know why, I was just very lucky. Never lost any sleep over who I was playing against the following day. I just loved going out, playing football against the best in the game. So as far as fearing, I never actually feared anybody. I played against some excellent players. Marco van Basten, another Dutch player, fantastic. In the English Premier League or English Division One then, I would say the most difficult partnership to play against was Kenny Dalglish and Ian Rush from Liverpool. Oh, very good question. I think uh, there are two players I really admire at the moment. Uh, one is Virgil from Liverpool. Uh, I think he's a fantastic player. Um, I think he changed Liverpool when he came to the club. Overall, I think he's one of the best defenders when he's on top of his form and he's fully fit. I think there is available at the moment. Also, there's a player called Matthew De Ligt, who plays for, uh, he went from Ajax to Juventus and now at Bayern Munich. So Matthew De Ligt and uh, I think Virgil are my two favourite players. What has to be? I think, no, I think in the game of football, it has to be the goal scorers. The atmosphere in the stadiums, you see when the fans, when the goal is scored, uh, incredible how fans go wild all around the stadiums. You know, that feeling of joy, the excitement. Uh, and for players as well. So I think uh, goal scoring is the most difficult talent to have as a footballer. And those players that are the fantastic goal scorers, the finishers, I think they are the ones that stand out in the game of football. No, actually it's not my first visit to Thailand. I've been to Kuala Lumpur before, my first trip to Bangkok. So again, 
It's an absolutely stunning place. Uh, I've only been here for 24 hours, but I've been shown around quite a bit. And so we are very much looking forward to coming here to play against Leicester in July. But uh, I've been very lucky in my life. I've traveled the whole world, um, a lot of places in Asia, playing football for Spurs. So yes, I've been very lucky to travel a lot of Asia, uh, but I'm very lucky to see some absolutely amazing places. So yeah, I'm delighted to come back here, hopefully in July. My favorite Thai food, I love chicken. Uh, so a lot of, lot of the chicken dishes. So um, I've had, yes, yesterday I went out and had uh, king prawn. So I had that, so that was obviously uh, very nice indeed. So I like prawns, I like chicken. So a lot of the uh, dishes here in Thailand are, are based around uh, prawns and chicken. So a lot of the dishes I thoroughly enjoy. You're asking Gary Mabbott, which team's going to win this game against Tottenham against Leicester? Never played one game for Leicester in my whole life. 100% Tottenham are going to win this game by at least two clear goals. Harry Kane and Sonny. OK, so it's all football supporters over here in Asia. I know it's massive over here for Leicester fans as well as Spurs fans, but we've got five official Spurs supporters clubs over here. Please come along to the game, come and support us and hopefully a very good victory.